Hello and welcome to a new video about the physical principles of electricity. Today we want to find out how fast are the charges traveling. We assume we have a piece of copper wire like that, exactly like that. So this is a piece of copper wire which has a, an area of 1.5 square centimeter, a uh, millimeter of course. Square centimeter, square millimeter, 1.5. 1.5 square millimeter copper wire, typical copper wire in your house installation. So this is our, our assumption. So we say we have a copper wire. The area is 1.5 square millimeters. Yeah. And we have a current of 10 ampere rushing through this. Yeah, that's quite high, but still in use. As if you, you would use a power socket and your hair dryer, you would probably have already 10 ampere running. Yeah, so this is not an unusual high, high current. Yeah, this is high but not that high hmm? so and we want to know how fast are now those those electrons moving inside okay because we know in in copper we have electrons moving and i can tell you copper has one spare Electron per atom. So, but one atom inside this material can spare one electron, which can travel, which can travel hmm, and make the current flow. Now let's think about what does this current mean. Yeah? So actually, we have ten ampere. These are ten coulomb. By second, this was an ampere, yeah. And how many electrons per second is there? Yeah. So we have one electron has a charge of minus e. So this is minus one dot six zero two raised by the power of minus nineteen coulomb. And if we coulomb by electron, actually. And if we want to know how much electrons we have to use, so we are dividing 10 coulombs per second divided by minus 1.602 raised by the power of minus 19 uh, coulomb by electron. And now, what is the result of this? On 10 divided by minus 1602.602, 10 raised by the power of minus 19. This is still the current, minus 6.2422. Ten raised by the power of nineteen electrons per second. This is what ten amperes means. We need to have six dot two four two two a tremendous amount of electrons per seconds passing. And now I said we have roughly we have roughly uh, ten by the power of 23 atoms per square per cubic centimeter inside there. This was our rough estimation. Today we want to calculate it exactly. And by chance, yeah, a luck, I have here open the Wikipedia site of copper. I don't know how this happened. <laughs> and actually what we need it is the density of copper. Yeah. Here we have the density. The density, the density of copper, copper,
density notice 8.96 gram by cubic centimeter. Okay, 8.96 gram by cubic centimeters. And what we also need is the atomic weight. Here we have this. This is the atomic weight. 63.546 Atomic Weight 63 dot what I said 546 and now what is the unit? Actually the unit is not really given but you can interpret this number as gram by mole so we have here gram by mole. What is a mole? Mole is a count. Huh? One mole is six elements. It's just a number. Avogadro constant, this is called. Uh, one mole of something has 6.022 multiplied by 10 power of 23 elements inside. So this amount of elements has this amount of grams. All right. Now what we're going to do, uh, we want to calculate how many mole by cubic centimeters we have. So we have 8.96 gram by cubic centimeters divided by 63.546 gram by mole equals now let's see what is happening here divided by 63.546 is 0 0.141 a uh, mole by cubic centimeter mm -hmm. and this is 0 0.151 mole by cubic centimeter multiplied by 6.022 10 raised by the power of 23 uh, atoms by mole. Let's multiply this. And we have 8.491 raised by the power of 22 atoms by cubic centimeter. And I said we have around 1, and so we have 0 0.84, 10, by the, 10 raised by the power of 23. So we have roughly. Huh? But this is how, how many atoms by cubic centimeters are available in this copper wire. Mm -hmm. So how many electrons do we have by cubic centimeters? Exactly this amount. So have we have available 8.491 raised by the power of 22 electrons. by cubic centimeter. Right? And now I want to know how much cubic centimeters I have to rush through here. How much is the volume we have to rush through uh, to reach these electrons per second? Yeah? So actually we have here minus 6.242 10 raised by the power of 19 electrons per second. This is our current we need to have divided by how many electrons by cubic centimeters? 8.491 raised by the power of 22 electrons by cubic centimeters. The result is cubic centimeters per second, 
Yeah? So we have here minus 6.2422 minus 6.2422 10 raised by the power of 19 divided by 8.491 10 raised by the power of 22 and the result is we have minus 7.3515 cubic centimeters per second. How many cubic millimeters is this? Oh, 10 minus 4, of course. Ooh, this is almost forgot. How many? One, millimeter, one centimeter is 10 millimeters. One square centimeter is 10 times 10, uh, 100. And one cubic centimeter is 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000. Yeah? So this is minus 7.3515, 10 raised by the power of minus 4 cubic centimeter per seconds multiplied by 1,000 cubic millimeter by cubic centimeter. And here is minus 1, so we have minus 0 0.73515 cubic millimeters per second. This is how many cubic centimeter, uh, millimeters per second have to pass through. Well, not that much, right? And now we have, we know we have an area of 1.5 square millimeter. Yeah? So, how much is the speed now? We have minus 0 0.73515 cubic millimeters per second divided by 1.5 square millimeter. The area hmm, divided hmm, minus 0 0.73 515 divided by 1.5 and we're ending up at minus 0 0.4901 millimeter per second. This is the speed of electrons. Half a millimeter per second. This is the speed. That's not much, right? I mean, th those electrons are crawling. It's a tremendous amount of electrons, a really huge amount of electrons. Where have I written this? Yeah? Yeah. That many electrons per second are passing by. However, they just have a, a, a half millimeter per second. This is the traveling speed. How is this possible? How is this possible? If I turn off here now, it's off. If I turn it on, it's on. It's instantly on. It, it, there are some meters of cable in between. And how can this be? It's, I mean, it's just a half millimeter per second. It would, make, it would mean several hours. But the electrons... Also, we have another issue. This is alternating current. This is... How? How? Can, how, how? Yeah. Imagine a tube. Imagine a tube which is filled with balls. The balls are perfectly fitting inside this tube and it's totally full. And once you push one ball inside the tube, another one falls out at the other end because it's full of tubes. And also this wire, this wire is already full. All wires are already full with electrons. And if I push one electron at one side of the wire, another one will immediately almost immediately, fall out here. So it's another one, but hey, we don't care. For us, all electrons are equal. We treat everybody, every electron as equal. And 
It doesn't really matter. If this electron, which I push in here, would take several hours or even days to reach here, does not really matter. But as soon as it enters, another one will drop out. And this is why we have instant power. Right? The speed of the electrons itself, themselves, itself, the speed of the electrons is really not high. You see, 10 amps is already reasonable, you know, it's already a current. Huh? This is not just kindergarten. It's... <laughs> no? And <sighs> half a millimeter per second. If there's less current, it's even less. Well, I hope it was at least surprising that electrons are that slow. Now we know, hey, it's really tough for the electrons to wander in those, in those things. It's not like it's an electron wind inside there. They have to overcome some, some friction, it seems like. They really have to do work uh, to pass through. This is our next topic, by the way. Because on every electron, on every charged particles, we apply force, our electrical field, the local representation of the voltage is applying force, and the electrons are traveling. So we have force and the weight traveled. Force multiplied by weight traveled is work. So the electrons have to work or have to work, work inside there to pass through. What this means, how we can calculate how much work this is, we will do in next video. Okay? Next video, electrical work. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.